172 miles per hour with a double out eight reaction time. Autumn weather has rolled in here at the Texas Motorplex as part of the Stampede of Speed. And though we didn't have the pumpkin spice flowing in round one of eliminations for the top alcohol competitors, the on-track competition was certainly spicy. As you could see from that opening clip, Matt Sackman had to drive through a willy pedal and then tightrope that center line to a round one victory. And he was not the only one that had to do driving to earn their spot in round number two. Tony Stewart had to pedal over Jackie Frick, who is a perennial championship contender, to earn his round one victory. Terry Schmidt, he actually hit the wall in round one of a competition, handing the win to Hunter Green. The conditions producing spectacular ETs and speeds, but also hard driving conditions. Julie Natus, though, looking for her first ever world championship in top alcohol. Dragster was up to the challenge to go up against the defending world champion and multi-time champion Joey Severance in round one and was able to turn on the wind light with a tremendous job of driving. In the top alcohol dragster class this weekend, though, at the Fall Nationals, the top story has to be the debut of an NHRA rider legend in Angel Sampay. Angel Sampay has made her debut here at the Fall Nationals at the Texas Motorplex in an A-Field Dragster, the Mahalik Brothers racing ride, the wheelman usually behind it. You're looking at him, Corey, but there is a different mission this week. Yeah, that's to get Angel into the field here, our very first national event. Uh, my brother Kyle and I are very proud to be associated with her, the AB Motorsports Accelerate program. Uh, it's, it's great to be down here in Dallas, and she's doing an awesome job. She certainly is. Your team is doing an awesome job as well. I'm sure this was a bit of a surprise, though. The plan was to retire this car and be done with the season. Yeah, so Charlotte was supposed to be our, national, our last national event of the year. Um, we had a, a pretty good year this year, ran some good times, uh, fought this car a little bit, and that's why we're looking forward to getting some new pipe for 2024 and beyond. But when Antron Brown and, and a, a three-time world champion uh, Pro Stock Motorcycle Rider Get, are going to give you a call to, to get out and, and, and give her her debut, you find a way to get back out for one more. You sure do. Now, I cannot stop this interview without taking the time to speak about React 104. This man is the man behind all those cinematic scenes here in the NHRA and beyond. What can we expect next, Corey? Well, we're going to be finishing out the year with Steve Torrance and Ron Caps, both guys in, in the thick of it right now at, at the top of the point standings in both Top Fuel and Funny Car. And just continuing to hopefully push the boundaries and what video means to the sport of drag racing, just really telling those stories that how much the, the personalities and the vehicles that they pilot are larger than life. And I'm um, looking forward to getting out to Vegas and Pomona to finish out the year with them. The mission is on with Angel Sampay and be sure to subscribe to React 104 on YouTube. Well, this team is certainly on a mission, and they get this girl through round one. And, Jill, congratulations and welcome to the rejuvenation of your NHRA competitive career. <laughs> Thanks a lot. 
I just did an interview with Amanda and NHRA and I told her if you would ask me two weeks ago how I was feeling, I would have told you I'm a nervous wreck. But today was an amazing day so far. Uh, like you said, I'm on a mission. I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm having a great time. You know, the first time in my whole career, I don't care about this crosswind that's going on. But I have to say thank you to some people and those uh, especially are Corey and Kyle Mihalik and their whole race team behind me. Um, they came out of the blue for me and just allowed me to run this car, which they've never done before. They've never let anybody else drive their car. I mean, we even had to cut into it to move the pedals and uh, change the brake lever, put a new seat in it, rip all their decals off and put my great sponsors, which are Mission Foods, Getrex and uh, Hank Sefers and FVP are helping me be here this weekend. I can't say thank you enough to those guys. Um, so this is the point that I want to make. So when somebody tells me I think it's time for you to announce your retirement, this is what I do. <laughs> I'm going to figure out a way to stay out here and have a good time. Um, and I cannot tell you enough how much I wish I would have done this years ago. This is so much fun. So thanks everybody for the support. I'm having a blast and I hope this continues for a while. Angel Sempe was able to take out the number one qualifier there, Mike Coughlin, for her first ever top alcohol dragster round win. She was not the only lady in alcohol to turn heads, though. You had Christine Foster also take out the number one qualifier and Annie Whiteley in top alcohol funny car competition. But, though there were many wind lights, even Doug Gordon advancing to the second round, the wind light turned on by Sean Bellamere, and in particular, the score boards and the ET that lit up the second quickest ET in the history of the class for the Killer Bees. The Nitro cars are not the only ones having fun in the performance area. The pirate ship might as well be a rocket ship, Sean Bellamere. What a lap. Um, you know, it's a true testament to the guys, Steve Boggs, Tony Bartone, the Killer Bees. I mean, this thing is, is known to be on edge, and that's what I love about Steve, and we've got a great relationship there. I guess I'm just too stupid to know any better, so I just keep on driving. But, you know, the other one that, um, that needs to really be mentioned here is Billy Meyer and the Texas Motorplex. This facility just never ceases to amaze. Every time we come here, whether it's hot, bad weather, or really cool and crisp weather, the track is always phenomenal. And what it does is it gives guys like Steve, who really like to roll the dice, the chance to just roll up their sleeves and go for it. And uh, we really weren't even trying to go, oh my God, fast. And so, um, you know, that, that we knew we had to be fast racing Andy Bull. They can step up any time, and they did. So we, uh, we knew we had to be fast, but it, it, what's crazy is just the conditions came to us it just seems like everything kind of fell together on that one. So, um, you know, we got a lot of big racing still to go. Um, I'm excited for what's ahead. We're, uh, we're focused, we're ready, and uh, hopefully reel off some more, uh, some more wind lights regardless of what it runs. It's Saturday here at the Fall Nationals, and round one of eliminations for the top alcohol competitors have been completed. The second round will be later on in the evening, and the semifinals and the final round action will take place on race day Sunday here at the Texas Motorplex. I'm Lee Kraft, a.k.a. the Monday Morning Racer, with this top alcohol report brought to you by Spell Paving Services. If you are within a 500-mile radius of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, the Metroplex, then you need to call Spell Paving Services for all your paving needs.